talk about it. I think teachers it. need more more consideration on what their mental health is on a daily basis because a lot of kids get a lot of attention and their needs, which is definitely necessary, but teachers don't get the necessary needs that they need, especially f- uh, financing the classrooms uh, on top of like checking up on their mental health. They just dump more and more and more tasks like this whole it's like a whole, I don't know if you know of the game Among Us, but it's like you're constantly doing a task, 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 and then you just get like, you just get, you know, you don't get hired again because you don't get tenured or they fire you before you get tenured. It's like so much stress and then you have to meet your task at the same time. And granted, you're getting paid for it, but I feel like there needs to be more attention to what the teachers need on a mental uh, uh, basis in order for them to function because they're not they're not even getting paid properly at mm-hmm. least you could do is check up on them mentally mm-hmm. so that's that's the the number one um issue that i i have is, is with the and that goes nationwide not even just like lodi. specifically lodi you know what well, jenny what's your thoughts on that from your perspective yeah i agree um you know, we, we need a mental health component and not just for the teachers, but also for the students. You know, a lot of students right now are, um, are you know, mental health is a challenge for, for a lot of the students because of the pandemic. I mean, some of them are already dealing with anxiety and the teachers as well. I'm not talking about just the students, but just overall, you know, um, some of us suffer from anxiety. Some of us suffer from depression. And I think the pandemic has really um, made things harder and a uh, lot it's a, a bigger challenge. So I do feel like there should be a mental health component. I did talk about that um, at my closing statement. I don't know if you guys watched the, the Q&A on Tuesday night. No, we didn't. But, um, we, a part of my closing statement, I did mention a mental health component for, for the for the kids. Um, I don't know how that would look like, but I would, you know, if they could have like 10 minutes um a day where they could talk to the guidance counselor, um, you know, have them have like a log of, of um, where the children could sign in and say, listen, I need to talk to someone for 10 minutes, you know, um, and have that opportunity. And for the, for the teachers too, you know, they, they need, um, maybe if we could offer like um, a workshop on self-care, you know, I think that's important. Self-care is very important. Powerful. We all need to learn how to how to take care of ourselves in order to take care of others. And the teachers have such a big responsibility of taking care of the of the kids. So I do agree with Zane on that. What you on that? No, I completely agree with like I don't know how Lodi works because I went to Hackensack. But definitely in Hackensack High School what they had was called like the drop in center. So basically like the concept behind it was like you just literally just drop in if you need to find like a job, a part time job, if you have like um like i forgot what it's called but it basically when you're like a junior senior you basically completed most of your prerequisites in school so you had like two periods which were basically free where you could like leave early and leave for work so it kind of helped you with like job studies finding a job uh, also counseling they definitely had counseling which i know i took advantage of because high school like i was actually speaking to someone it's just like when you're in high school you just feel like the world is gonna end like oh my god they're talking about me like this too shall pass like you know kids at that age don't realize like oh what you're going through is only temporary you're gonna get over it and then when you're an adult you're just basically not gonna care about it but my high school i was glad that it did have that like they did have the counselors but the drop-in center was a big help Mm. a big big help yeah that's interesting i don't i don't think that does the lodi right now have anything like that I still want to touch upon something he said, you know, that was still so powerful because it's it's so true that we don't, you know, typically you don't hear about a lot of teachers getting any assistance with their mental health. And it's like, how are they supposed to teach these kids and be there for these kids? Like they're there for so many different kids, you know, mm-hmm. hundreds of kids throughout the day if and they're not OK. One of them, yeah. And each of them has like probably like an issue like probably like the period before you dealt with some kid that had like an outburst and you had to basically like kick him out of the class and everything like that. Like there are some people that don't handle that situation as like, all right, this happened. Let me get over it. Let me continue my day. There's some people that just dwell on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're expected to go back to school or go back to that period at that same time. And kids be on the, on the craziest disrespect mm-hmm. possible. And then he was like, all right, just write them up. Like you didn't even ask me how I was doing. Mm-hmm. that's a major mm-hmm. issue you just disregarded mm-hmm. the person's 
like emotion and they all right get back to work all right write them up get back to work and that trickles down to these kids so it starts from the leaders and it trickles down so if we teaching if teachers are being taught to be dismissive of their emotions what exactly are teachers teaching their students yeah that's need need a moment of silence for that one (laughs) That, nah, it's that, that is so true like you know or sometimes jumping to conclusions you know with that too like a lot of different times you know you could see a kid who is upset or who seems like they're going through things and at least in the past i've noticed a lot of times the system just makes them jump to conclusions you know what i'm saying without actually really maybe even talking to the kid or trying to put them in a program to see what's going on they just real quick maybe dyphus they don't even do a process they don't even try to see if maybe they could help. You know what I'm saying? Where I think I think sometimes they could. You know, so but definitely, definitely I think we need a mental health program or just to check in or something with the teachers. 